Hi, this is David. Today we have a brand new item for open box. We have it's right over here. It's uh, three different items, but you can see it's already uh, on the name Icon IC7100. And you got the Simplex Power the Switch uh, SEC. 1235M and it stands for monitoring. Let's take a look what I have. Also, I have WCS, the RT Software 7100U, and uh, I didn't buy a cable because I don't need it. I have a SD card that can load the software in there. Let's take a look individually and see what do we have here. Let's take a look. Look, the ICOM. IC7100 is really nice box, really nice uh, size, really uh, plain old box, and uh, standard uh, size. You open up and open up. There's an instruction manual, and the instruction manual uh, does come with a regular. Uh, menu and advanced menu which i do have advanced advanced menu which is fairly uh okay but i have printed out let me show you really quick also you got the voice uh recording technologies icon limited uh, warranty registration the icon 7100 the uh, almost transceiver the regular basic menu over here not advanced menu let me show you what i have for advanced menu i print out in a book form and bind it together the regular menu it's over here and you got advanced instructions right here which is really nice overall and have many many pages but i print it out because i got a really nice printer so i print it out it takes me a little bit of time but everything looks great and i like to draw and uh, write on my menu so i just print one out myself let's put it on the side and Look individually, see what you have here. You got nice cardboard protecting the top and bottom. You got the, the power adapter. Well, basically, it's you connect to a car. And this one here, instead of using inline field, uh, inline and fuse, they give you a car like fuse. This is a uh, 30, so it's really nice amperage for the vehicle so it's really nice strong it won't have issue like my 400 xdr in line and this is a really nice strong wire together so it won't be soft like my uh yasu x uh ftm 400 xdr which is it's very loose so when you unplug it too many times it get loose you got the uh, basically head unit cable but it's RJ4045 so if you want to get longer cable you just buy the shielded one you can see this one here is sh shielded the cable and I would say Cat7 will do fine uh, this is a really nice cable overall uh, this is generic USB cable that's that's it for the top layer all the cables then you got this one and head unit let's pull this on the side and see what you have here plug this one to the side here and you open up To the side, you got the head unit itself. You take it out, and like uh, many reviews said, if you put on the table, this one here, 
you put it like this, you move a lot, and this one don't stay, you press hard, unless you press really hard, this one do have the extra leg extension that you can use, uh, this one you can use for microphone, or regular SP, which is a uh, uh, extra additional plug you can plug in to make it work, uh, microphone, advanced uh, unit basically uh, you plug into your uh, controller unit so really nice overall the tricky thing about this particular unit it's uh, over here you got a little really nice and smooth but when you dial down it's like super smooth this way press up you got a little bit of a stuttering so you won't over jogging the dial but you over here press down it's super smooth not like uh, the other ones so this is very nice so uh, this unit over here this the the button is really nice and smooth solid button on the bottom part so when you press down it's really solid it's not like other ones that have a little bit stuttering. Okay, so that's uh, the head unit. I'm gonna go back in the bag because I haven't installed on the table yet. And what else is inside? You got your uh, low end microphone. Uh, some people complain about this particular unit because the, the holes over here it's only one little tiny dot but usually when you speak it works fine but if you don't have a better sound you need to use some other model uh one old model 101 with a pneumatic pad which is a little bit more expensive 105 dollars but if you like it you can use that here is additional fuse for your cable wiring and here's your uh, magnetic uh, studs here's a data cable here that's a uh, raw so you can connect to anything you want and that's connect straight to the head unit and you would like to do that because sometimes uh, you want to install something specific now we get to the head unit itself head unit I mean, controller unit. Uh, you got a little nice little box. And this one here is really nice. You got power, tuner, two antenna. Uh, here's a mic that you can connect either on your headset or go straight here. SP, USB, remote. Uh, this one here is uh, data, another data, this is data one, two, uh, data one, accessory, key, and controller, the one that's RJ45 that you can connect to your, uh, straight to your uh, head unit. Really heavy unit, uh, compared to, comparison to other one, this is a lot heavier, and the difference is, you need to buy the mounting bracket separately. Uh, this one does not include a mounting bracket. So just in case uh, you want to mount it uh, really hard, this one doesn't come with it. You need to buy it, purchase separately because most people who buy this unit actually gonna use on the table or desk instead mobile. And this is heavy head unit so if you have a uh, use it for mobile you better find a really st sturdy location to input it because it's very heavy unit compared to my uh, 400 xdr so let me put on the side here now we got the desktop simplex power ICC 235M switching mode DC power supply uh, it's a uh, 30M 13.8 BDC very nice Oop, that's the software you open up 
first thing you see is nice thick foam for shipping. Then you got two uh, power connectors that you use with a raw cable and a little bit of a, a snaz, uh, the screw that you screw in so you can lock in the, the wire. Oh, here you go. Ooh. Thick, chunky cable. Okay, you got the UNSL and instruction manual, which is a switching part supply. You plug in, it's good to go. Okay, here's the part supply. Generally, here's the size. Uh, the width is uh, eight, uh, 18 five. They are really nice overall. Here's a meter amperage, voltage, on off button. And you plug in your thing. It's a throughput, so really nice compared to my uh, <clears throat> My other one uh, I have SS30DX, which is you need to turn the thing and to lock in this one. This one you just put in there, then lock in. So, really nice overall, really fast system. You can just turn the screw, it will connect the cable. So, really nice. And here you go, really nice. Uh, pretty, pretty thick layout. You got pen on the bottom. It, and, uh, it's a solid state, so it's fairly quiet. The fan is just for air, air moving out. So it's uh, really nice, easy, and it's right above the lake. So it will be really good condition. Again, this is David. Today we're talking about the ICOM IC7100.